Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Isles of Sea and Sky, where today we are just so desperately pursuing any human contact at all. We just, I just want to, I just want to say hello to her, you know? And every time we get close, something crazy happens, she shoots vines at us, my head explodes. This is, I mean, this is life though, right? <laughs> Everybody's personal life is this miserable, right? Okay, if we shove these obsidian blocks in the lava, do they create a walkable path? Yes. Is that path... Yes, that path is hot. Okay. That's fine. We can work with that. So... It's good to know that standing on the heat long enough to push a block doesn't add another heat point. I thought it might, because you know, it is like it is taking an action while standing on the space, but apparently it's only stepping onto new heat spaces. That is the problem. So this is just gonna break, and I think that's fine. Like for right now, what we're doing mostly is just removing arrow blocks, right? Actually, that's not going to be able to move. Um, yeah, how do we get that out of there? I mean, obviously, once the green block is broken, broken, we could push an obsidian block into the space above it and move it like that. But we kind of need this thing to be out of the way in order to break the green block. So, hmm. All right, I'm going to reset the puzzle real quick. And not like fully reset the puzzle, but, you know, get our blocks back. Because now that we've now that we've removed these things, we have some extra tools to work with. And I guess the idea, like, if we bring another one of these over to here. Like, this will fill... No, that does not fill the hole. Okay, you need one of these larger blocks for that. Uh, this thing's just kind of in the way right now. Oh, I didn't even realize that is that is a that is a raised ground. Okay, I was gonna push. Um, that's the wrong button. I was gonna push this block right above us, over into the gap, and then you know push this thing into the lava beyond to form a bridge. But apparently, we will not be doing that. Let me reset this one more time. Yeah, I didn't even. Hmm. If we can't get rid of these somehow, we might be a little stuck for the moment. At the very least, we'll need to approach this room from, like, a different angle first before we can get anything else done, right? So... What else is there to do? <laughs> this is the wrong path. <laughs> this is not a safe way to cross. Okay, uh... Right, so we can see the path down here, but we can't actually go anywhere. Just refreshing myself real quick. And to be honest with you, I'm feeling a little tiny bit stuck here, wondering if we can indeed progress any further. Yeah, like the one big downside, I suppose, to this kind of um, this kind of design, which generally people seem to like a lot, this um, sort of like if you get stuck on one puzzle, you can go somewhere else and, and work on a different puzzle in a different place, is that it does make it difficult to know when you're in a position where you can't progress any further necessarily. So this block kind of just can't do anything. Yeah, that... That does complicate things somewhat. These, these blocks don't... I mean, obviously we can destroy it. Oh. Okay. That is unexpected. I did not, I did not realize that that was a thing. Well, now we know. 
So... Well, what I do not know is exactly what gets destroyed when that happens. So, like, let's play around with this a little bit. Will it destroy... No, it will not destroy the little pine cone blocks. If we push this from this side, does the explosion set off... Okay, yes, it does chain through other obsidian blocks. That's interesting. Now, obviously, what we would like is for it to break this, but I'm not sure how we would manage that. Well, you know what? Let me go and reset the room, because now we've destroyed that um, green block in the middle. We can, we can bring this through. That's how it works. Because we can just create a large enough chain of explosion, explosives. Wait, no. I was gonna, I was gonna say like one of the blocks, we just push one of the two obsidian blocks that we have access to into this position and then blow up that other one down there. But at, like how, but, but how though was I planning to do that? I think is an important question. Actually, let me, let me see something here. If I just bounce this off the space below it, no, it does not gain any heat when we do that. So how would I get one of these two into this space? Well, I guess, okay, so the idea is you would use one of these to detonate the bottom area and then you push this across. This is not going to work. See, we don't have enough time to walk around this way. Hmm. How would I be able to push it from the bottom? There's not really another path available. Because of the raised strip in the middle, I wouldn't be able to bring any of the obsidian blocks from the left over here. So we can't like form a, a chain or anything. And obviously this is immediately lethal. This does feel like we're very close. You know what, actually, hold on a second. I feel very silly. Like, clearly, I recognize that you can push stuff up from below here, but I don't know. When these two blocks were here, it just it felt to me like this was, I don't know, in my brain, I just couldn't conceive of this being the behavior. Oh, that's interesting. I did not realize that it um, also shoved the block. So we need to use something to uh, to be a stopper here. All right, well, I realized eventually what needed to be done. Did she hit me with her staff? Is that what happened? Or, it, I mean, it could be, because last time this happened, we were not, we were not in melee range. So it's probably just that again. It's probably just the, the, the mind explosion. But the fact that her staff disappeared does kind of make it seem like she she broke it over my head. Uh, maybe she was never here at all. But at least we got a ruby. And I ask you, what could be more important than the progression of our earthly wealth? Is this crossable again? Yes, but okay, only the twice. Good to know, good to know. Are you a uh, Kevin? No, you are not a Kevin. Darn it. All right, well. If 
thing is if, if I push this up and then push it up again, what will happen? Okay, that stops it from exploding. Uh, that's interesting. I mean, obviously we do want it to blow up. But I guess like the critical thing is what if we brought it over here and used it as a bridge? Uh, we just brought some other blocks home, brought some other blocks back to use for this purpose. With this out of the way, we can... I kind of forgot that the, the block in the lava was going to count as a hot space. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. I think I can still make that work, but I think we got to push this thing from here. That has the added benefit of not requiring us to destroy uh, as much of this other stuff. Yeah, and then I can push you into a corner to access this. There we go. Okay, I'm feeling pretty okay about that. Um, do I think we can make it around to that green stuff? Yeah, probably. I think we're gonna have to reset the room. I need my blocks back, but... So if we make the same moves, largely the same moves we made last time. The idea is we wanna put three Four, in fact, four blocks down in the lava down there to create a functional bridge. Oh, right, sorry, I have to push this off of the lava cracks in order to maintain its integrity. So what I'm thinking is this, this is the spot, no, <clears throat> this is the spot to do this in. Because we have to save more of the blocks. Like... Right, this ends up here. This one's gonna have to go there. This one's gonna have to go there. And that's all important because it's not just enough <clears throat> it's not just enough to push this uh, down here. We have to be able to actually push it around the corner to pop that. Okay. Anything else doable around here? This is a weird looking tile. It is still absolutely real lava. Don't, don't get that mistaken. Um, hmm. How would we... How would we access this? Like there's, it would seem that there are very few things you can do here and all of them screw the puzzle up really badly. That's curious too, that there would be a way up into the lava there. All right, what about this way? Oh, she's not even over here. So, obviously we can't just push this to the right without blowing it up. I could push it down and right and get it off the hot squares fairly quickly. And then we can push it onto the switch, presuming that the switch is not also a hot square. Okay, no, that's fine. Don't know how we're gonna get to that bottom right one. That feels like probably it has to be approached from the tunnel over there.
this cannot be as simple as pushing this box upward, right? Am I like building a chain maybe? But one explosive is not going to be sufficient, right? Hold on. Okay, so I'm not responsible for this being on the wall. This was on the wall already. But we can actually fix that, I suppose. Well, I was gonna push the button off of the switch here and um, use it to do a little lava walk, but actually that would require another box to be sacrificed to make the path function. And I don't know that we wanna do that. Because the thing is, if we If we do this, and then we line up all of our obsidian blocks ready to make some things explode. Yeah, I don't know how we, um, oh, actually. Because of the way things are positioned here, I think this ends up being the box that goes on the button because we can't push it through fast or effectively enough. Like I'm definitely gonna be able to destroy one charge of the top block and two charges of the other block, both charges of the other block. This isn't going to work either. Okay, we can just barely get to this. And then it can go here. Now this works. Well, why would I do? Why would I do such a thing? Oh, right. I forgot that the block was going to shove out of the way. Shoot. Well, that makes this really not great. I guess the idea is like, you could put this down here. I need to back this one up, is the problem. All right, yeah, you need to live there. So, we can get the exploding block far enough to here. This block exploding should push this block over to the left, which when it explodes should push that block up and I guess this will work, right? Because this block and this block, when it moves upward, will hit the right pseudo cabin. And then this block will provide the second point of damage to the top one. Oh, no, you have to follow up there. Okay, no, the first one doesn't move correctly. It's weird that that explosion doesn't push. Uh, in that case...
So yeah, we can get that over to there. This will have to already be over here. And I guess this will have to be up here already. Okay. That almost works. Oh, those are... I didn't even recognize that. So if I put this one here, there we go. There's all of our explosions. Bring this, grab that, spend a key, grab that. And now we're almost at enough gems to activate some kind of big red statue of a god or whatever, should we encounter one. Nope, I knew what that was. The second the second I stepped on it, I was like, oh hey, this is a bad idea. Is that Okay, that staircase is not something I have the easiest access to, but actually I probably can get it, can't I? Like if we put this here. I guess I didn't really need to do that. Shoot, there is a small problem here. <laughs> How? How would I access that? Okay, out of curiosity, aha, this is a non-hot space, despite the fact that it is a rock that is floating in lava. There we go. And that means we could spend three keys if we had them, shoot, damn it, <laughs> to access that, which would get us into where the gong is. It seems pretty important. Uh, let's go see if maybe the next key, the next room has an easy key in it, perhaps? Well, maybe not easy, but certainly there is at least one key. So, how do we access it? Okay, this takes me in behind that thing, which is not really useful. I'm not really sure how we would get the one in the top right. Because we can't really meaningfully put blocks up there, right? There's no way to uh, corner. There's no way to steer them around. I could push a line of blocks from like approximately here over to the right, but it wouldn't be helpful. I can't walk on them that far. Yeah, this is weird. Pretty tough to dislodge blocks in a square like that. It feels to me like there's something behind this waterfall, the one that's directly above me right now. Because, like, why else is that platform there? But... Yeah, I was gonna say, it seemed a little... seems a little too easy, really. If I could figure out a way... I don't know. I was going to say, like, 
we're almost in a position where we could like push one of these blocks in front of this thing and then push it down into the hole. But what would that even do? Like how, how, what is the utility of that? Can't easily access the rock down here. Yeah. All right, that's a tough one. Let's head up. This is what I've kind of figured was that this would be a screen analogous to the one that we saw with the uh, the island that we already more or less completed, the orange one. Um, and this puzzle looks not the most doable, I guess. Oops. Right. I forgot that that was going to collapse. If I now die, no, I can't. The, I cannot treat the uh, the thing as being wrong in that situation. Well, that's certainly challenging. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if bringing another block over there. Like, if we could push it up those three and then have it explode and in doing so ring the gong. I don't see an easy way of actually making that happen, unfortunately. Wondering if maybe I did this wrong. Hold on. Now, of course, it is worth noting that if I if I got the brown gong rung, it still wouldn't actually do very much for us, I guess. Because, like, look at that over there, over there on the right. Getting access to that box doesn't let us do basically anything. I do not think I'm going to be able to pick up this key. Obviously, I can move this through the spikes, but then it's just in this corner, and I don't think dropping it in the lava in any direction really helps. Ah, if only I had not opened up that puzzle on that one island that turns out to not be a thing we can even do. Where does that, where's that key accessible from? Okay, it's a thing up on that ledge. Yeah, we do not know how to get there, sadly. So we have two keys like right in front of us here, taunting us. But unfortunately, probably just not gettable. So the brown gong is down there. Everything is everything is so blocked in. So as things stand, it doesn't seem like we can rescue the block that's directly above us or the one that's directly above us now. Because if I push it left onto the spikes, like we can, we can in theory move it into this space, but what good does that do us? We can't quite get into a position to 
push anything into the lava in a useful way, as far as I can tell. If we push the top left block up, that doesn't do anything. And pushing it left is only useful insofar as, as it is followed by another push left and then a push downward from above, which sadly then puts the box into a position where I can't interact with it any, in any way except to push it back onto the spikes. Uh, being locked not by, not even by a tricky puzzle we can't solve, but by a, um, by one key. It's really frustrating. So obviously, if we could get this down, we could do a lot of interesting work. I mean, this just this puzzle requires you to destroy that red block. I think I'm pretty sure. All right, what is the point of this hole? Like in theory, if you were to come over here and fill it with one of the boxes, one of the larger ones that actually can fill the gap in. It would let you like walk on a couple of hot boxes then have a place to step off, but it's still too far away from anything that matters for you to be able to get back on a hot path from there. So... Yeah, not a lot to push on here that actually does anything. When I push one of these in the lava, yeah, it just ceases to exist. That makes sense to me. Figure we ought to check the uh, the waterfalls, the lava falls rather. You know, it is interesting that we died instantly trying to step through the others, but this one has collision blocking. Like, it is different. It is actually different. There's no way for me to get another block up here. There's no way for me to get access. Like, if I push this over, there's no way for me to get onto the things above it. No. I think we're... First of all, overstepping, and secondly, just kind of fucked. <laughs> for the moment, for the moment, until I go somewhere else and figure something else out. There aren't any paths here to traverse that we haven't traversed already. We definitely need to come from the bottom right for that path that's down in the bottom right. like wondering if I missed something. Another key taunts us. What could we possibly do with this with this block here that would make any kind of sense? It's like even if we were to get rid of the green arrow somehow, we still this passage would still not be usable. And this is really weird, but I don't know what to make of it. Did I go down here? I didn't, I don't think, but it's not useful to be down here. I appreciate how easy it is to travel back along these after having completed them. Yeah, maybe we could go try to get a key somewhere else.
It feels like there must be one, right? Must be one somewhere. How did I do this before? Okay, so that gets me this. Oh, right, which is not actually worth pushing over there. It is, in fact, for doing this with. Forgetting that you can walk on those. All right, yeah, I feel like we're we've been fairly thorough here. There must be a key somewhere else. Stupid three key lock just holding everything up. does seem like we've actually... Oh, I can't even open the map here. That's interesting. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> I am feeling a tiny bit stuck. Early, early on in the game. Pretty sure we cleared this place out except for one entrance over here that is not going to. There's a star door up here somewhere. Oh, or you know what? Maybe I am uh, misremembering. This is not the island I was thinking it was. I do believe I have stripped this island of keys. This is not the one with the extra thing. Maybe we can go and reconstitute our keys. Just, <laughs> just have them returned to us. Spent six keys on a puzzle I can't even begin to do. Feels of dubious quality. And I'm sure that, you know, whatever that is in the top right, I'm sure it's important. It looks important. There's a 45 star door, not super useful. We couldn't really get anywhere here. Maybe that's exactly the thing though. This is probably supposed to be more doable than I made it. Like, we have four of the gems we need. Sadly, I am not allowed to jump off of the lily pad and grab the star before dying. The 
Yeah, maybe I was too quick to give up on something around here. There's got to be a way. Hmm. See, like, this is very weird. How on earth are we supposed to even get in there? So with the layout of this island, we are, we are not just missing gems to get power from the big scary floating giant of this one, but also we can't even get to the giant himself. Ugh, if only I could figure out a way to get to that key. have to find a way to move additional we can only do this but as long as we can't change the flow direction of this stuff it's not like very helpful right Okay, how about this? Wait a second. Oh, I guess that block's already there. I was gonna say, if we could get into that space without getting washed right through it, we could maybe push some blocks to the left. First of all, I forgot there were spikes there, but also uh, the thing I'm describing is not even a uh, strategy. all the keys that are just out of reach, just taunting me. I didn't think that was going to work, but I wanted to believe. All right, y'all. Well, bit early in the game for this, but uh, I'm feeling a little bit stuck, and also, as you can hear, my uh, esophageal condition is starting to act up a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> so I think maybe this is an okay place to just, like, take take a little break. Because uh, that hurts a bunch. <laughs> um, so that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, I'm going to going to have figured out something to do to do here and also my body will definitely not be doing this to both of us it's very rude <clears throat> so yeah come back for that <laughs> we'll see you then <laughs>